Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial and today we're going to use DFTB to calculate the proton affinity of acetic acid. So we're going to switch over to DFTB and we're going to draw acetic acid with the solvents tool. There we go. <clears throat> the way we calculate the proton affinity is to minimize energy for acetic acid, acetate and a proton and using a little formula to calculate the proton affinity. We're going to use DFTB3 as our model. It's the same as the self-consistent DFTB, but, but with some other third order contributions. For our parameters, we're going to use DFTB3OB31. If you want to learn more about these parameters, please click the question mark and you'll be redirected to a website that tells you more about the parameters that we're using. So we're going to run this geometry optimization. and we'll name it acetic acid it'll take a second because it's a dftb calculation which is super quick there we go it has finished and then we'll go to scm output and we'll scroll down all the way to the calculation results and we're going to copy the energy as displayed right there copy move over here and we'll paste it in there then I'm going to close the output file I'm going to remove the acidic proton to create the acetate and we're going to change our charge to minus one and then run the same calculation but we're going to save it as a different name for us ACO minus save and now we'll run the difference between a proton affinity and a pKa value is that a pKa value is solvent dependent, so a pKa value measured in water is different than a pKa value measured in DMSO because the acetic acid has a different tendencies to lose its proton to different solvents. However, for the proton affinity, no solvent is used for the calculation, so this is an intrinsic property value that can tell you a lot about your molecule. So we're going to read our new co coordinates. You see the molecule has shifted a little bit, so we will have a new out output energy. We'll go to output, we'll scroll down again till we find the calculation results and we'll copy this number. Copy and paste. And lastly, we're going to need the energy of the proton to finish this off. We're going to select while, while holding down shift all of the atoms except one of the hydrogens there we go delete uh, we don't need to do a geometry optimization this time a single point is fine the same model but we're going to change our charge to one and then we're going to save the file again and then run it This should, take, this should take even shorter, it's just a quick calculation of just one proton. There we go, already finished. Going to the output file, scroll down, calculation results 0 0.2407, copy, and paste, and then we're going to fit these numbers right there in our little formula. This will all equal to 0 0.5704. And that's it for today's tutorial. Please leave a like if this tutorial was useful for you. Leave a comment down below to let us know what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.